Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you happen to be new here, I am Chef Christy and I share delicious recipes every single week. So I hope that you consider to subscribe to my channel and if you hit the notification bell, then you will know as soon as I upload a new video. So for all of my faithful followers, you might remember that I mentioned that I will be moving. And as you can see, my kitchen is pretty much empty. So today is a special day. This will be the last episode that I film in this kitchen. And I have lived in this house for 23 years. So it's kind of bittersweet. I'm excited to have a new kitchen and a new home, but kind of sad to leave this kitchen because there's many, many memories that were made here. Um, and thank you so much for being a part of that. Uh, but let me share with you the recipe that I'm gonna make as my final, my final dish in this kitchen. So seriously, we are in the midst of moving as I speak. And so I wanted to keep this dish as simple as possible. So I'm using my slow cooker and I am making a delicious meatloaf in the slow cooker. I'm not sure if you knew that you could do that or not, but it is amazing. So let me go over these ingredients and show you just how to do it. So for your meatloaf mixture, I have a little over two pounds of ground beef and to that I'm gonna add an onion and garlic, two eggs, breadcrumbs, milk, ketchup. I have some onion powder and garlic powder, dried basil and some uh, Italian seasoning, and then just salt and pepper. Okay, to a large mixing bowl, I'm going to combine all these ingredients. So I'm gonna add my ground beef. my eggs, I'm going to add my seasonings, and the breadcrumbs, then I'm going to add the milk, diced onion, and I used about a half of the onion. I'm gonna mince my garlic. Add the ketchup. One teaspoon of salt. half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, now with very clean hands, I removed all of my jewelry and my watch. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna mix this together. Now I'm gonna wash my hands really, really good. So next, I'm going to take some aluminum foil and I'm going to line my slow cooker. Then I'm going to take this meatloaf mixture and place inside my slow cooker. Forming it to the, to the shape of a loaf. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is cover this and then I'm gonna put it on high for about four hours or low for about six hours. Now I'm gonna make the sauce. So to make the sauce, I just have a cup of ketchup, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and then I'm just gonna give a squirt of sriracha, but this is optional. I'm just gonna stir all this together. Okay, 
Okay, my meatloaf has been cooking for right around four hours. So what I'm going to do is I am going to drain this grease off of this meatloaf and then I'm gonna place it onto a sheet tray and top it with that glaze and put it in the broiler for about five minutes or so, but I'm gonna drain this grease first. Okay, this aluminum foil makes things so easy because I'm just going to lift this up and drain this grease right into the crock pot here. Just like that. Then I'm gonna place it right on the sheet tray. And now I'm just going to spread this glaze over the top of the meatloaf. This is the best part. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this and put this in my oven under the broiler for right around five minutes or so. I'm gonna keep my eye on it. Just until the sauce gets hot and bubbly and golden, it's gonna look delicious. Oh, check it out. Okay, so now I'm going to transfer this beautiful meatloaf to a nice serving platter. I'm gonna use two spat spatulas here. All right. Ta-da! This meatloaf looks delicious. I'm excited to try it and I'm just serving it with some cheesy mashed potatoes and green beans, but I'm gonna slice into this and show you what it looks like on the inside. Oh my goodness, this meatloaf looks and smells delicious. I'm so excited for you to try it in a slow cooker. It's just really nice to be able to put something in your slow cooker, turn it on and go, especially when you've got a lot going on and you're busy like we do right now in the midst of this moving. So I've got to give this a try. Oh my goodness. So good. So delicious. Well, thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon in my new kitchen. So be watching the next video that will come out. I'm gonna do a kitchen tour. So I'm excited to share with you my new kitchen. So I will see you soon.